In this demonstration, we'll see how Force Point One helps organizations prevent data leakage on both managed and unmanaged devices. Meet James. James is a procurement specialist and he's working on an important project, but he's going on vacation to China and needs to complete a few tasks while he's out. The agency, let's call it Agency X, has adopted a policy that prevents file downloads on unmanaged devices and prevents access based on where a person is located. Let's see how this works. Here are the components that will be used from Force Point 1 to follow the policy. Now, in this case, James is first working on a managed laptop provided by the organization that has a Force Point 1 agent running on it, and he'll later be using a personal device that does not have an agent and is unmanaged. Now, when he uses the personal laptop, because it's unmanaged, Force Point 1 will be using a reverse proxy to provide access. Here, James logs in. He's getting ready to go to China, so he needs to download the project files to his work laptop. He heads to office.com and then his OneDrive. He downloads his project. He's allowed to do this because he's on a managed machine that has an agent. Time passes and James still needs to finish up some tasks. He'd like to do some final tasks on the plane from his personal laptop. Now James will try to upload the project file by emailing it to himself. So he composes a new email, sending himself the file. As you can see, the file fails to be attached because it's protected by CASB and the policy. Since he's on a managed device, the file couldn't be attached and sent. Undeterred, James tries to work on the project file from his personal computer. It's an unmanaged system without an agent installed. James heads to office.com and logs in, then is prompted to log into Okta for authentication. James is accessing Office 365 through reverse proxy via Force Point One. James heads to his OneDrive. He's able to access the file and continue working. When he tries to download the file, the action is blocked. An empty CSV tombstone file was downloaded, and the file only contains a brief system message from Force Point One. So let's review what we just saw. First, James downloaded the project files to his managed laptop, which was allowed by policy. It's when he tried to email the project from his personal email from a managed device that Force Point One DLP stopped it from proceeding. He then tried to access the file from home and downloaded the project files for his long flight. The traffic flowed through the Casby reverse proxies and were blocked by the policy. James did download a file, but it only contained a reminder that the file was not downloaded due to its sensitive nature. Force Point One enabled the agency policy to be followed, the user to be educated about why some of their activities were blocked, and all this was done without a single IT ticket.